So today is uh, part of the Ingenuity Skills Awards. We've run this competition with learners who are on apprenticeships to highlight their skills, their learning journey, and we've had some fantastic um, presentations today. It's been a privilege to be a part of. <laughs> Hi, my name is Faith Vargas. Um, I'm 20 years old. So yeah, my name is Ethan Damano. I'm 24 years old. So my name is Olivia Lane. I am 21 years old. I'm Aaron Wilcock. I'm 34 and I'm a mechatronics apprentice with Amazon, currently studying at the MTC. I've always just wanted to work in the engineering sector, basically. It's always been my dream to kind of work on projects and like innovations and work through the entire engineering process and I thought that this was as good a starting point as any, basically, to blossom into that, into that field. My design for the competition was a light bulb shaped award, which was fully inspired by that light bulb moment that every engineer, every manufacturer experiences at the start of a project, no matter how big or small. So when I first wanted to um, make this design, I first asked my families and friends what they think of when they first hear engineering. And a lot of them said um, a lot of hard work or labor, and some said automation, and some said gears. So when they said that, that's what got me thinking into a lot more ideas as to what I can make with my um, design. So I created a lot of three gears that would interlink and they would actually move in my design. And I've also incorporated Operated woman in manufacturing, which is something that's really close to my heart, and I wanted a small element of that put into my design and teamwork, teamwork in the gears that shows teamwork in engineering, which is one of the most important skills to have in engineering. Okay, so the, the design is based on a, a cog, which is the sort of a universal symbol of engineering. Within it, it holds the sustainability logo, which is representing how. Sustainability is included in design and manufacture more and more these days. I've designed my trophy around kind of one of the most simple and like look over inventions in engineering, which is kind of the main basis of my initial design concept was key innovations in engineering. So I designed it around a nut and bolt, which is something that everyone I think takes for granted nowadays. But when it was originally like made, it enabled us to create so many more designs and give, gave us way more design freedom because before that we didn't really have any ways of fixing two, part, two or more parts together. We've run this competition, which is the 10 year anniversary, and we've had some fantastic um, presentations today covering all different aspects of design. It clearly shows that the work that has been delivered over MTC is at a high standard. We've had some very good presentations, thought process of costings, sustainability and the environment has been put into uh, the designs. It's working with one of our technical partners, which is FANEC, which is also a, a centre of EALs, where we've collaborated together of bringing the competition from MTC and FANUC together to support the Ingenuity Skills Awards. Education and skills are really, really important for the future adoption of robotics and the best use of automation in UK manufacturing. And that's why we, we've chosen to participate in the Ingenuity Skills Award this year. So I love the passion and the enthusiasm that each of the entrants showed us today. I loved how they were able to demonstrate all of the CAD skills that they learned and implementing them into their designs. And it was amazing to see the passion, the enthusiasm of engineering come across in each of their designs. It's always nice when you have one clear winner, but truthfully, there wasn't. Every single one of the candidates had gone about the uh, adhering to the specification in a completely different way, um, which resulted in four very, very individual designs, each of which uh, held some really interesting points that were all different between the contestants as well. So. It's, it's a really tough decision. They're really thinking about what engineering means to them and what they believe engineering means to others. So we've had examples with light bulb thinking, we've had teamwork, we've had sustainability, all mentioned within the designs we've seen today. The Skills Awards is to highlight excellence through engineering in all different categories. These categories have then been broken down 
where we've got apprentices involved designing the trophies, which we've seen today. Yeah, it feels really good to win. Uh, really happy, it was good competition, a lot of good designs. Uh, yeah, really happy to have the design appreciated and really happy to see it win. My design was uh, stands out because it was based around the sustainability of design and manufacture process. The main logo was the sustainability logo and I think that set it out from the rest. FADAC believes education in your current role, in your future role, is particularly important. We do a lot of work with foresighting to ensure that the future roles that young people are going into have got the education behind them um, and, the, and the people understand what they're going into. So working with EAL and apprentices in this way is particularly important to us. It's a fantastic way forward to ensure that those skills that are it, the employers of the future need are, are delivered in the right way. So the manufacturing as aspect of the design is really important and it's one, one area that I was very keen to sort of put across in my feedback to the, to the candidates. Uh, this particular design had obviously had a lot of thought put into it from a design for manufacturer perspective and in all honesty there was some, the as most aspects of the design could be manufactured economically feasibly with, without any changes whatsoever so I was really impressed with the winner's uh, attention to that, to that aspect. I'm really excited to start working on the, de on the design because uh, it's when, when the candidate sees his design or her design come to fruition on the machine. Uh, you just see that smile on their face and see something tangible that their efforts have gone into. It's, it's, it's really, really encouraging. The process was very difficult because the standard of the trophies this year was so high. Um, the presentations, what went behind, um, the thought process, the actual 3D printing of the trophies, what they did, and the delivery of the presentation. It was so difficult to choose a winner this year. It was highlighted with engineering development for an individual coming out of the Royal Navy and then going back into industry. It uh, was a great achievement for Aaron. We're very excited to see the design manufacturing the machine behind us. Um, Aaron's going to have the opportunity to sit down with FANUC uh, technical experts to design and machine this component and bring it to life. Um, really excited to see this and also it's very good for Aaron to have that experience to bring this design to life. Yeah I'm really excited to get to the manufacturing process it'll be good to get over with the uh, engineers and really get into how this will be manufactured in industry.